here. Well, probably not a whole lot of y'all in here yet, but soon. Anyway, we're back. We're in the studio. Amanda's here. Patience. While we've been out of town. But we are um, going to try to do. I can see what you're saying. Yeah, it's, 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 Let's make sure you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. So, today I'm going to try to do an alcohol. This is a IKEA. But we got to see friends and family and meet new people, and it was amazing. So I'm glad we did it. Can you guys see me okay? What's up, Rizzo? Can y'all see and hear me and stuff okay? Ah! Hi, Bo. Hold on. Hold on. Buffering. Okay. Hold on. I'm connecting to the Wi-Fi. Is it better? Is it better? Hi! Is it still choppy? It is still choppy. Let's see. Much better. Okay, good. Absolutely. Hey guys. So there we go. Wonder if it see if I can bring this over here. So maybe it'll be more like first person y. too. Um, the fam is amazing. It was really good to catch up with everybody. I miss them so much. Anyways, let's get on to the show. So I'm going to do an alcohol link and resin and, um, oh, it was on sale for $9.99. That's even better. Um, alcohol link, resin, and glass Thanks, Mama Bear. Is it buffering really bad? Thanks for tuning in, Smiley Girl. So, um, 
Thanks, Clara. Pinata sent me a few colors to try out for you guys since they've um, been watching some of my videos recently. So that's super awesome. So I have, they sent me coral, pink, blue violet, teal, rich gold, silver, black, and golden yellow. I don't know when I will ever use golden yellow, but maybe I'll do like a fall color piece. I don't know. So I do want to try this teal. These are from Jacquard. They're pinata colored alcohol inks. Um, I didn't pay for these. They were sent to me. This is not a paid channel thing. It's just they sent these to me, so I'm going to use them. Because... Um, why wouldn't I use them? Hi, Bowie. You can't come up here. Okay, I guess you can't come here. So I have a Bowie on one hand. Thanks, Donna. I've used them before, um, and they were great, but I haven't used them in a little bit. And these are brand new, so. I know, Anne, aren't these like awesome sizes? These are half ounce or 14.79 milliliters has all the regular warning labels and everything. He's usually entertained with a cup for a little while. I don't know. So let's open it. Ooh, I like it already just from the splatter. I'm also using this Tim Holtz dauber thing that um, they sent me. Nope, I bought this. I bought the Tim Holtz dauber. You can make one for yourself if you wanted to though. It's just a piece of felt stapled to a wooden block with, no, Velcro stapled to a wooden block with a circular piece of felt on it. So we go play. And I, for somehow, got purple splashes on it already, so I'm going to cover that up a little bit. I've never used ink on enamel before. So we'll see how it works. Looks like it's gonna work just like, um, sorry, I'm trying to get you guys a better zoom in. Here's a fly in here and it is driving me bonkers. I do that all the time. I think um, these came from either Ikea. I know it, Bowie. Okay, come here. These came from either Ikea or maybe Hobby Lobby. doesn't even look like a light blue. That looks like the same. Oh, I guess that looks better. I love that like break and like, I don't even know what to call it. Just that felt texture when it splays out. Uh, Mary, I'm not going to use any blending solution, and I probably will limit the amount of alcohol I use as well because I want to keep that, this interesting texture. 
I'll zoom in in a second and show you guys the texture I'm talking about. If I use anything, it'll probably be 100% alcohol. Get down, guys. I think. design up onto the edge of this piece a little bit I just decided because why not utilize that if you have an edge I just think that'd be visually interesting and I'm going to use some of this pinata blanco blanco white Apparently you have to mix it up a whole lot and you can't use it with something. Either alcohol or blending solution you're not supposed to use it with. Which one is it? I can't remember. Yeah, the Dauber is made, I guess, for inks. Um, it's from Tim Holtz who does basically only inks, I think. Um, I did not put any alcohol down first. It's just, just the inks. And this is Zig Light Green. I'm just going to add it to the same dauber I've been using. find a need for what I do to change out the um, the felt pad really until I change colors completely this one is not a canvas board this is a poured enamel tray just so you guys can see that I pulled the design up onto the wall So I do want to put some white on it, so I'm going to pull out a completely new dauber. And just do white. Um, you just switch out the pads, you buy like a bunch of these little felt pads, or you can just cut your own out of a sheet of felt. This is Whoa, is that a wave? light blue from Copic. What's up everybody? Howdy. How's everybody doing today? Jeff's here. I don't know if you can see me. Probably not. No, I haven't really zoomed in. Everyone said, what's up, Jeff? What's up, what's up? Oh, you can clean them with soap and water and let them dry. They're cool. I guess I'm making something of a wave. want blue in here but the green's really coming out. Oh. Here's my white dauber. What well, Bowie? going to be 
be a rough um, example of a wave, I guess. Very rough. I'm going to put some dark blue in there. This is turquoise. So, you know, we should use this blue violet. I bet that's pretty. Thanks, Smiley. We do a lot of those glitter lips, like, oops, on the side. I guess we should post more videos of those lips, so people really like them, and they're a lot of fun to do. light colors. Put some of this turquoise in there. gotten a lot darker than I intended at first, but it's okay too. I wonder if I put white on it again. Apparently I am going for all the blues today. Oh yeah. Smiley's girl, um, if you send an email, either I have or Amanda has answered it or she's flagged it for me to look at. with more of a, an alcohol rag. Could be a mermaid tail. Y'all, I just have to show you real quick. Not the human sleeping on the couch, but little Bowie watching. Just being adorable. And then Cujo's up there. Anyways, back to the art. So, I'm just gonna dab it with this. This is a 70% alcohol white. Uh, no sir. No, Bowie, you're okay. I know it, but you're okay. He's being pitiful. He's being pitiful. Robin, was it, um... Was it a just resin shimmer? So I put a little bit of my 90 something proof alcohol on this 70% rag, just so that I can blend that in just a little bit or try to. I think I'm going to add some splatters as well. Thank you, Scarlett. We had an amazing time on our trip. Definitely a learning experience. 
is way harder to find a suitable venue than I thought it would be. But we're not giving up. We'll find something that'll work. Let's take some of this light blue. You don't even have to buy those expensive, well, they're not that expensive, felt daubers. You can just use really anything that'll hold on to pink. And use it to apply. The cobalt blue shimmer was solid. Um, I haven't had that problem with cobalt. Try giving it a warm water bath. That should reactivate everything. If it doesn't, just shoot me an email, let me know, and we'll, we'll replace it and figure it out. So this color is Duck Blue. It is by Copic. I don't know anything was labeled Duck Blue. Surprise. so I don't forget and we'll get that um, replaced and fixed up for you. Okay, I'll move it, I'll move it. Good call. Thank you, Bowie. Thank you. I know it. Okay. He wants up, then he wants down. And then he wants up, then he wants down. No, it said duck blue, as in the bird. I have never done a wave before, so this is very challenging. Yes, Dee, it is on a serving tray. problem is the white keeps fading in and blending into the rest of it. Um, 
Mary, I feel like if the rest was dry, the white would just reactivate it because it does have alcohol in it. That's my immediate thought about it, but I could be way wrong and we can definitely try hitting it with some heat first and seeing if that makes a difference. And um, hit it with some heat and it should come off more easily. I think it needs more light blue, I feel like. Which is this one. Let's get another one of these reds. Oh yeah, it is Claire's birthday. Hope you're doing something amazing. Which I know you are, because you're always doing amazing things. I'm trying to add the ink in these like little fold areas so that it gives a different kind of texture. In theory, anyway. Well, Claire, that sounds like a win of a day if I ever heard one. Also want to do some splatters of color. I'm gonna need a paintbrush that I don't care if it gets spoiled. So I always keep some either really wrecked or cheap paintbrushes on hand. I just put some alcohol on this one. I don't want to do that yet. I want to heat it up first. You know what I should have done is done a light blue over the whole thing so it doesn't look quite so disconnected. So I think I'm gonna just do that real quick. So it still looks oceany. This is 90 something percent alcohol, so. Some immediate impact because it's 
which are high concentration. I should have done that in the beginning, but it is what it is. In fact, I might just go ahead and put some alcohol in it and swish it around because this seems kind of disconnected. So I need to bring that out. Now it's just all over. blowing this heat out directionally so I can get some, that doesn't sound good. So that it has some of that alcohol ink flare, those dark lines that make everything look great and like it was an alcohol ink piece. I should have done this to begin with, so if you try this, do this first. This will also give something for the white, if you do this, for the white break of your waves to stand out against. Because if you're on a white background, you're not going to really see it anyway. Um, Virginia, I got it from, it was either Hobby Lobby or Ikea. It's just a, an enamel tray. I think it said hand poured enamel. Let's just check. Has a sale tag on it. Project 62 tray from India. Oh, it says by Target Corp. So it was, I got it from Target. So now it's completely dry because I hit it with a heat gun. I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. I'm not going to add any more paint to it because I want it to be like that speckledy, spotted look, like that overspray.
Bowie being needy? He's definitely used to being the center of all of the attention. I'm just using the corner of this little dauber tool to add some wave crash striations. See you later, Mike. All right, let's dry that and then see about adding the white. Um, I am gonna resin over it. Get a new dauber pad. Don't have any contamination. Since this doesn't have like a little squirty cap thing, I'm just gonna pour a little bit on there. No, I might switch over to one of my alcohol rags because I don't really want to get. a round mark. I just want some splash, you know? Having just spent a little bit of time at the beach, you think that I would know what a wave looks like. But I don't think I really do at this point. even see the white but still not mad at it. Chris, I cuss on the inside continuously. Yeah. Well thank you Scarlett. Time for a sippy. Oh, Bowie had a blast at the beach. She wasn't sure what was going on, but he was there. I don't know what'll happen if I try to use a paintbrush, but I just got my answer of don't use alcohol with white. Use blending solutions. I need to go get a new brush. Some reason alcohol curdles. Um, white, even though it's alcohol ink, and why wouldn't alcohol work for alcohol ink? But it doesn't.
I'm just chopping some white in there using a stone coat term chopping it in Everybody loves seeing Bowie at the beach. Hi, Diane. All right, I don't know how good this is going to look. Once we put resin on it, but we're going to find out together. But first, I want to create some splashes of color. Then let's do some light, lighter turquoise. You can also use a toothbrush to do this. if you have one handy and that you want to make into a um, no longer usable toothbrush. Right. I think it is time to resin. I just gotta dry this. There we go. So sounds good. Okay. I just want to make sure it's fully dry before adding any um, varnish or resin. these little bubbles out here. Thank you, 
Carrie. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see those. So I'm going to seal it in with this. It is UV archival varnish. I had no idea about this until Scarlett and Jen told me, but this is a better varnish for my stuff than Camar varnish. Up. Just give it a really good coat. This does two things. It protects even further your piece from fading over time. It also Helps to seal in your alcohol inks and protect them from the resin, which sometimes has a tendency to um, kind of reactivate or melt in your inks. Whoops. So, yeah. There's that. So let's put these caps on before I spill anything else. Should I put any gold in it or what do y'all think? What's he playing with? Oh yeah, he buries stuff. But he's burying it like nope, not even under. Under the blanket, but it just like moving around, around. Always being a complete clown over here outside of the camera. Um, I'm gonna resin it in just a second. I just wait till this dries and I can add heat to it to help that along. Let's add just a little bit of gold, because why not? This one is Rich Gold by Jacquard. Um, I might be able to add another layer for white highlights. Thank you, Whisper. Thank you, Resin Renewable. So when you use any of the golds, make sure you shake it like until it's almost annoyingly shook because it's gonna separate and that's, it's kind of like when you don't use your ketchup for a little while and then you go to use it without shaking it and then you get that like I don't even know what to call it. Film or peanut butter. No.
Um, parts of the uh, parts of the piece are set and parts are not, so it was holding onto my felt. So I need to dry it more. Ketchup water. Ooh. Right. So this will go matte once the uh, archival varnish has set and it's ready for resin. I'm just like lightly tapping. I just want a hint of the gold shimmer in this. gives a more random texture than if I use the dauber. You can see the difference. Hope I'm holding it upright. So this is this rainbow look is where the dauber was and then this random pattern down here is um, from wait where am I? There it is. So that is from the dauber, and then this is from just folding up an alcohol rag. Try to add a little bit more via white as well. It's getting you right for that. Hi, Dorian. How have you been? Um, we are not in Jacksonville anymore. We are back home. We're gonna try to go down to Tampa next. Maybe it's gonna be a couple weeks. So it's not really doing much with the underlayer, which is awesome because that means I can like seal in what I like and then go back in. And add 
two areas where I think needs a little bit of extra love. I need, not this one, maybe this one. Some color, what's still open? Just take, not that, a new one. But I don't want these white highlights to be too stark, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of this um, teal that I spilled. Um, not purpose, but we'll call it that. Scarlett, who makes your new inks? A little bit more white and we'll call it all right quick reseal we'll go ahead and prep our resin Oh, it was super hot and muggy when we were down there. Like, excessive. It hasn't been that bad here, really, yet. I'm sure it will be. to use Art Coat by Stone Coat Countertops. It is my favorite resin right now. It has the working time, the UV resistance, doesn't smell, it has a good viscosity. Everything really that I could ask for in a resin is in these bottles. Also, if you guys are in and around Dallas this weekend, we're going to be doing a demo up at Artco. I mean, Makerspace, sorry. Makerspace in um, North Dallas or Carrollton. No. 
No, it sounds like Cujo. No, boys. No. Boys. Thanks, you guys. Oh, I'm sure New Orleans is muggy. Boys, enough. So this resin is a one-to-one, -one, which means you do equal parts A and B. I mix mine for three minutes, which is what is directed on the side of the bottle. You can get this stuff from Stone Coat or you can get it from our website, artistalith.com. If you get it from Stone Coat, um, they'll give you 10, sorry, $10 off a $100 or $90 order if you use the code YALL, Y-A-L-L, all caps, no uh, punctuation. Unfortunately, I cannot afford to do that on my website, but if you want to get paints and things as well, then maybe check out our website. Oh, I bet it was horrendous with the president in town. I'm pretty sure I didn't make enough resin for this, but we'll see. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, Clara. Have a safe trip, Dorian. Another great thing about this resin is it doesn't give off death bubbles, which is these little bubbles when you mix your resin that sometimes fly up at you. I'm sure they're not good to breathe in, so I call them death bubbles. I don't know what would happen if you did inhale a bubble, but I'm not going to do it to test it for y'all. That's one thing I'm not going to be able to test. Sorry. You can tell when you mix it enough because you won't see any swirls after you go once around your mixing cup. If it's not mixed enough, you'll see a little bit of a haze, a little bit of different colors. And if you don't mix your resin well enough, then parts of it will never set. I know y'all that have been with me for a little while already know that, but for all of the new fans, it's important to know. Also, don't forget to scrape the sides and the bottom of your mixing apparatus. Apparatus is a good word. Bucket, cup, whatever. So you don't have any weak spots as well. You try to get Marcy to sneak you some what? Some resin? Marcy's great, by the way. If you guys haven't checked out Mixed Media Girl, go give her a shout from the fam. She does mostly um, acrylic pours, but... She does a lot of stuff, and it's always awesome. Also, check out Stone Coat's channel. They do some pretty amazing stuff. We're actually planning another trip up there as well. I think I'm going to mix in just a little bit of um, an iridescent. Just a little. This is oyster satin from Resin Art. I have it on my website if you're interested. I think it's in stock. It's just going to give it a little bit of a mother of pearl sparkle. Don't add too much because it'll make it a little bit too cloudy for what you want, I think. So this is definitely a dabble do you type product, but it'll give some sparkle. I 
I wanted So this is what we're looking like. You can see just a little bit of that pearlescent look in there. Let's hit this with heat one more time to make sure it's dry. Hey Shelly, hope you're feeling good. No, they've been busy lately. They've been traveling a lot, so they haven't gotten to do any lives, but I'm sure they'll get back on it ASAP because they really like connecting with everybody through their live feeds. All right. Here we go. Maybe it will be enough. Also, maybe I put too much pearlescent in there. covered up too much. I mean, you can see it from the side, but not on the top anymore. Maybe we'll do this. Let's just fill up these guys. let your artwork defeat you. There's always a way to fix whatever happens. I always have molds handy just in case I have leftover. Or something just happens. So, there is still some left in here, which is fine. I'm just gonna add clear into it. Boys. Looks all right with this thin coat, but it is a lot of fun to do. I think 
it's important to keep an open mind to all different kinds of mediums and don't like typecast yourself as just one type of artist because you never know what you can do till you try a lot and fail a lot. And then once you learn a new medium, you can incorporate that into other mediums that you like to try. Whenever you have a new perspective, it's always a good thing. Um, Diane, they're working. He still has his cough. I'm gonna take him back in for a checkup um, in a few days. He's gotta have a refill and I like to take him in like once a month just to get evaluated and make sure his meds are still at the right levels. For those that don't know, Cujo has a little bit of a heart condition. Thank you, Debbie. I, I definitely don't spend time fretting over things. If it doesn't go the way I plan it to, then just evaluate where you're at and regroup. Stressing out isn't going to fix any situation, especially not with resin. So, that's kind of my, that's probably more like a life motto for me. That's, I don't really stress out over a lot of stuff. But then again, <laughs> sometimes things don't get done because I don't really stress out over things. That is, um, one of my favorite things about Amanda that she forces me to do stuff I don't want to. I will, Diane. Rebecca, um, silicone those for, like, the round ones, the Petri dish ones. Thank you, Rebecca. You can get up there, Kujo. He's yelling at me, wanting to get up on his chair. But I have resin fingers, so he's just going to have to wait a minute. Um, you can get the Petri dishes off of Amazon. I can add those to our Amazon store down in the link below for you as soon as I'm done with this. like I'm almost mixed fully. All right. I always mix till my hand hurts and then mix for like two minutes longer. Ever since my very first piece never set, I've been jaded. All right. Hey, Megan. Thanks, Miss Smith. So, I'm going to pour right over where the wave is to try to push out the resin that had the pearlescent in it and it's working there we go now i need to add some heat Titanium 
What about Snow White? We had some. Only the ten grandma. She had the fifty just yet. So I'm going to since the white froth kind of disappeared I want to add some back in. This is Snow White from um Sorry, it's from a color session. Grab a little spoon. Doesn't really matter where I take this from because it's self-leveling and it's going to fill back in anyways. But if I can add some directional waves like this, then so be it. Right. Let's get the white. It doesn't take much. And those of you who have been on the channel for a little while know that I usually use Stone Coat's white base tint, but since I only have one color represented, um, it won't really do what I need it to. And I don't really want the big um, webbing cells. I want the frock from Ocean Break look. So that's what we're going for in theory. We'll see if it works. All right. Let's see if I can do this without messing it up. My table here isn't exactly level. And because I have that shimmer in there, I can see what direction it's shifting. Might be as good as it's gonna get for now. So. light headed
Um, so I will go back in with a heat gun. To pop the extra bubbles that the embossing gun didn't. I just don't have one over here right now. Well, let's try to find one. I think y'all might like this. bring you guys in. Oh, I'm sorry, Rebecca. Actually, I'm going to add some of my glitter glass that I have left over. will end up laying flat and give it some sparkle after the fact. And they're clear so they're not going to cover up really any of the design. So, let's bring you guys in for a close-up. No, well, let's bring you back out. I love the depth with this white. Looks like smoke. Oh, thanks, Lynn. Maria, I appreciate it. That pearlescent in certain areas, I think, brings out a different look as well. Um, Diane, we'll plug it in tonight. We just came in at 7.45. That's why we were late today. Okay. 
think y'all were right for adding a little bit of the gold in there too. This part looks a little bit like octopus tentacles or um, what is the other thing? Thanks, Heidi. I can't remember. What other animal I'm thinking of? Oh, here's some flash. So, see if you can see the glitter glass yet. Squid, jellyfish, both are correct. Also love those bubbles on the outside. Sure, Rebecca, when are you coming to town? As long as we're here. There's some of the glitter glass. So I'll also do a um, another video for the Facebook group. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, seeing what we're up to today, y'all. I will be back. What's today? What is today? Tuesday? Um, tomorrow. And show you guys how it's set up. So, hope to see y'all then. Thanks for watching, y'all. Here comes my boys. They know what's up. Hi, Ms. So, yeah. Please subscribe. Oh, there's Bowie. Hi, Beans. Oops. Subscribe. Leave a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any requests, please let me know. Shoot me an email or, um, boys. Come here. Calm down, Moo. You're going to work yourself up into a tizzy. Um, shoot me an email or leave it in the comment box below. Uh, be kind to one another. You never know what someone may be going through. Let's go see what Jeff's up to, and then I will say bye to y'all. Please excuse the state of my house. There's Manda Banks. We got some colors in, y'all. Looks like this. Jeff's setting up his new filming area so that he can paint for... There's B. Okay, with the flash. Mr. Vega. I'm trying to figure out how this goes. Um, 